Hi, and welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant, and I'm going to be talking to you about this 2011 Mercedes-Benz C200 CGI. It's a classic, and being a CGI, it does have the four-cylinder turbocharged motor. It's done just 98,000 kilometres, just ticked over to 98,000 kilometres. And obviously it is registered in New South Wales. It's got the two original remote keys and is in very good condition. I mean, white always looks brilliant. It's also got Bluetooth. which is great. Automatic headlights, automatic wipers, cruise control obviously, and it's got your dual zone air conditioning. White certainly a very good colour to have on a wagon or white with black because it's very easy to keep clean. It's got what looks to be a pretty new set of tyres on it. Uh, the bodywork is excellent. Uh, it's also got the uh, the very nice five-spoke alloy wheels, parking sensors, a very good service history of this car. It's even got the liner for the boot, luggage cover, and the net as well. Up here. Um, it is actually an electric boot. which is quite rare on a classic, I must say. Again, looking at the wheels, body panels, bonnet, roof, it does seem to be particularly good. Um, I have driven it, it drives absolutely perfectly, as you would expect a car with a good service history like this one. And uh, I think being an 11 model with the updated turbo motor, parking sensors front and back, and just uh, this very nice white colour. I do believe it's alabaster white. Um, and my wife had a alabaster white Mercedes E-Class station wagon some years ago. But it just looks like it's been very well looked after. You know, it's, it's certainly good having the two keys, which I know sounds normal. They should have two keys, but they do get lost over the years, especially with wagons. They've usually had kids in and out of them, and whether they playing in the car when mum and dad are at the shops and the key falls out whatever it might be uh, they do get lost but it's very impressive as I said I've driven it it drives absolutely perfectly it's very smooth surprisingly powerful the turbos do have a lot of power and between the 250 and the 200 there's about 20 kilowatts from memory difference but I've driven some 200s that go better than 250s and some 250s that go better than 200s. So there's, not, there's really not a lot in it. Um, you certainly wouldn't buy a 250 because a 200 is lacking power. But it's a very impressive car. Um, I'd certainly be more than happy to show it to you in person or take you for a test drive. Or we can send cars to any state in the country. Um, we can even help you with finance. We are the Old Timer Centre. We've been doing this uh, for over 20 years and we specialise in European cars just like this Mercedes. Thanks for watching.